All right guys, what's going on? Today we are going to do something that I've actually waited, I don't know, close to three years to do on my E92 M3, and that is use Leatherique. Um, if you guys are not familiar, I actually already did a video on my E39 M5. I did a full Leatherique leather treatment. Uh, this stuff is way, way more involved than any other, probably like any other leather product out there, um, but, I think the results speak for themselves. I'll actually flash a picture of the M3's um, armrest, which I was really surprised at how amazing that it actually came out with just one application of this uh, rejuvenator oil. I believe this is uh, the rejuvenator process, so it's kind of weird. Uh, we're gonna jump into it, give you a little brief overview, but you actually use this rejuvenator oil first. You let it sit on the car and bake, and then you use the pristine clean to essentially wipe it off uh, after I like to go 24 hours in above 80 degrees and uh, I'm going to pull the car out in the sun tomorrow so I'm actually going to apply it tonight and let it sit and then in the morning I'll just back the car out and let it bake in the sun so let's go through the interior of the M3 it's not bad but it definitely needs a leather reek application so let's get into it all right so the M3 is naked I used to have a cover on it been protecting it from all the dust but uh, let's get in the passenger side and you guys can see um, the interior on my M3 is a little odd uh, for any car but I think this was only made for the US models the uh, Silverstone inserts they're kind of gray looking uh, it has it in the back seats too but we are going to look through the leather uh, pretty much no one sits back here as you can see it looks really really clean um, no cracks and especially like right here it actually looks really matte but we're gonna do all of the leather because there has been humans back here and uh, the leather has never been treated so the areas the high touch areas are very important but I would say like just in general um, you want to treat everything uh, especially to keep it nice and soft and also um, it gives it such a nice matte look. So you can kind of see here, it looks a little shiny. I don't know if it's just the light or not, but I'll actually go over here where you can see the untreated section versus the treated section. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference there. Uh, you can see like the pores and kind of the shininess of the untreated section. And then over here, um, I guess it is a little shiny looking as well, but it's not nearly as um, kind of dirty and kind of porous. Um, it's also softer. So some guys say, oh, I can't see a difference. Well, you'll be able to feel it. Um, also, here's the driver's seat in pretty good shape. I actually have about 48,000 miles. Obviously, there's a little bit of stretch on that. All right, let me get my fancy light out so you guys can see. It's a little dark in my garage, but you can see the uh, bolster actually really has very little wear to it. So uh, a lot of guys, it's kind of uh, either cracking or maybe ripping, hopefully not ripping, but it gets really worn out, the, um, the high traffic areas you could see um, on the seat. So of course, my steering wheel, Alcantara, so we're not gonna be doing that. Um, we will be doing like the shift, um, or the parking brake rather, and of course, the shifter so this is looking a little glossy uh, normally you want it very matte looking kind of like how the back seats are so that's what you want and um let's get to town you want to do a little cleaning of the car first but uh this car is clean enough that i'm not even going to give it a wipe down to be honest with you all right guys so i've actually already leathery the rear seats i want to give you a quick tip that my buddy garrick full credit goes to you garrick on uh, the seat belts, you actually want to wrap them with cling wrap just to protect it from getting kind of nasty oils all over. When I did the M5, I did not wrap them and they were actually okay. I got kind of lucky. I didn't glob on the uh, leathery too badly, but this is a tip for the back seats. The uh, front seats, I don't have the issue because the seat belts are on the side here. But all I do, grab your little applicator and gloves and you just go like this a couple times. Got some leathery there, and then come on in, come on in. And I don't know how well you guys are gonna see that, but you just wanna work it in. You ideally want it to be like pretty glossy, so you kinda know um, how that it's sitting on the surface of it's glossy. So I'll open that, you can see the back, how nasty and greasy it looks. Um, that means it's still sitting on the surface. So either there's too much or it hasn't sunk in yet. So I'd rather it be a little bit extra than not enough to be honest with you um but that's just my opinion so i just kind of get it on there and uh, work it in just 
get it in the corners, especially like the stitches um, and the high impact areas, high traffic areas. Sometimes I feel like a masseuse, you get some oil and rub it in. That works too. I don't know if there's one that's better than the other, but both of these methods work pretty good. Your hands are gonna be really tired, but that's how I'm doing it. Same thing on the driver's seat and then same thing on the shifter here. Any of these areas that are leather, um, you wanna definitely like load it up. Uh, not too much, you don't want it to be a big puddle, but you definitely want it to be sitting um, enough on the surface to actually uh, do something and soften it up. So. Also, if you do get any like on plastic, I just kind of take my finger with either interior cleaner or just dry, and you can kind of just buff it. Um, it seems to come off pretty good if you get it like right away. So I don't know if it stains, but um, that's kind of how I just do it. So I just kind of buff off these little plastic pieces, and maybe if you get on that little seatbelt thing or something like that, you can get it right off. So I'm gonna go to town. Uh, this seat, the driver's seat, and then any sort of the door cards, all of these areas especially, because these get dirty with uh, people's hands and all that stuff. So this will be uh, pretty significant, I think. So um, anyways, ap apply, wait. I like to wait 24 hours, and then we'll probably come back like the next day and uh, we'll clean it off. As people were watching, they're like, what the f is going on? That's nice. Get here. about 24 hours later on the leather reek application i actually did have the car pulled outside this morning for about like maybe five hours or so and then it started to rain and it was cloudy so i actually pulled it back in the garage of course with my luck uh it decides to rain today it wasn't really supposed to but last minute it changed uh of course so i actually loaded up a little extra when i checked it and moved the car out this morning you can see there's actually a little bit sitting on the surface um, and then over here, you know, is a little bit more matte. So that means that maybe if anything, I could have used a little extra uh, that the uh, leather needed. So um, you'll see, like if you look closely, see how there's like a little streak in the middle, but the sides don't have as much. That either means I didn't put enough or maybe I put enough and then of course it needed a little extra. So you can kind of get a feel for uh, the level of kind of I don't know if it's neat or whatever, but for the leather, but it's a good sign. There's some sitting on the surface, but not like a ton, but there's also, uh, not all of it has disappeared. So like the passenger seat looks like it may not have needed as much. I don't really know, maybe it's just the angle, but you kind of get the idea. Um, so now we are in the nasty stage of like sticky, gross looking leather. Um, what you want to do is get a bucket of warm water and then this is where you actually use the pristine clean for and all you want to do is spray it on like a little applicator um, or like maybe on the surface and just kind of spray it there and then dunk your applicator in the bucket and just kind of clean up the seats and then we'll be done so let's get to it
right guys, so the driver's seat is done. Uh, I did the pristine clean, and then obviously we're rinsing the little applicator or whatever you wanna use. You can probably use a microfiber if you really want. Uh, but man, this looks so good. Um, and this is your opportunity. If you're a hater, you can just say that it looks the same to you, but uh, then I'll know that uh, you don't really belong uh, watching these videos because you're not the same type of person. But anyways, <laughs> uh, I've had a couple people say that on the M5 where they're like, oh, it looks the same. Well, it may not look that different kind of in camera, um, which is really not the end of the world because that means that the leather is in decent shape. But you can see how nice and matte it looks and um it's very soft like especially these areas i don't know if they use different types of leather i mean the truth is no car besides maybe like a bentley or something has like a hundred percent real leather in it that's just kind of my assumption uh, but this definitely is some sort of hybrid probably majority is leather but i don't really know uh, definitely made a difference so um, i'll show you this is what the armrest looks like it's nice and greasy um, that is the passenger side and as usual we're struggling for light but uh, this is what the rear looks like nasty shiny and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of it pristine clean you don't really need to see me do the whole car uh, but we will do the before and after shots for sure so actually you can kind of see see how there's like a little extra kind of in that rear bolster it's like kind of sitting on top versus above it. There's not as much, so could have used a little more maybe up top and a little less right there. Uh, that's just kind of my observation. I've done this a couple of times, uh, but it works out really good. So it's pretty simple. Just it's a little more involved than you're used to probably. All right, guys, finally finished with the leather reek. I'll show you in a second, but I do want to apologize in advance. There's a few birds that are literally being a-holes right now. So if there's any bird noises, just try to ignore them. Um, all right, so I'm going to show you guys the final product of the interior of the M3. As you guys can see, it looks super matte, super clean, pretty much new. Um, you know, with my car, I have uh, actually let's do a little mileage check for fun. Forty-seven zero four two. Actually, I thought I told someone I had forty-eight thousand miles, but I'm at forty-seven. Um, you guys can see. There's always gonna be the wear. So if the car already has wear on the seats, the leather reek, there's only so much that a product can do besides like if you go like the refinishing route, that's something totally different. But the leather reek does a way better job than any other product I've used. Um, it does make sense because it's way more involved um, time-wise and also application and removal-wise. Uh, you can see uh, the leather just looks so matte. Like actually here, I left a little bit. I need to wipe that down just a little, but I'm just using um, a towel to brace myself. And then the other towel was to sort of buff off the surface because your hands are gonna get so nasty and sweaty and that's literally the last thing you want to be touching your leather. So I actually used gloves and um, went to town. I'll show you the back seat. Uh, with the lighting, it's gonna be difficult, but these seats just look really, really nice. No cracks, no issues. And uh, here is the driver's seat. Of course, there's nasty shadows here. So there is the driver's seat for you guys. I have a really nice driver's seat for any 92. A lot of them get beat up, as I mentioned in other videos, but I'm really careful when I get in. If I'm wearing a belt, I try to sort of sit my butt in first and don't let the belt kind of scrape this area. But I know a lot of guys that even have like 30,000 miles and this area is just obliterated. So you gotta be really careful when getting in and out of really any car, but especially these, they start showing wear uh, on that area. So that's it guys. I mean, this is a little tour. Um, really matte. There's going to be a couple areas that maybe I didn't wipe down completely. Um, they might have a little bit of water or whatever. So I'm just going to follow up with another towel. I use a lot of towels here. A bucket full of uh, two, three gallons of warm water. And we got the pristine clean. I put a little uh, nozzle on here to uh, help aid in uh, applying it. So that's it, guys. That is the Leather Reek application on the M3. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it. Links are in the description for Leather Reek. If you're interested in picking it up, don't forget to click my link. Uh, if it's an Amazon link, I do get a little affiliate credit for it. So it does help support the channel and I really appreciate it. Um, ideally, you would want this car to bake in the sun. I think I mentioned 
it's rainy today, if you can uh, probably tell. Of course, I decide to do it on uh, a day that it decides to rain when it wasn't supposed to rain. So that's my luck, but it still makes a big difference. If you do it in the summertime, 80 plus degrees, you'll be good. So thank you again for watching guys, and I will see you next time.